Greetings, business owners and work from home bodyers. I'm Monique, the work from home mogul, back at you with a video, and this one is about networking events. How to make conversations and get the best out of networking events. I have some great tips for you. You're gonna be like, Monique, where have you been? And I'm gonna be like, uh, right here, bitch. Also, we have Chatty Cat back as a guest this week. Call me by my real name, Katrina, because my parents did kind of take the time to consider and like pick that actual name. All right, hold your horses. We've got a lot to say, so stay tuned. You will never feel awkward or not know what to say or how to initiate a conversation after these tips. I'm gonna make it so easy for you. I'm the work from home mogul and mo underscore goal is all my socials, my Poshmark, everywhere I make money from apps or put out my social media. So that is what I want you to remember whenever you wanna make a conversation, mo underscore goal. Let's start with the M. The M is for mutual acquaintances or mutual anything positive that you guys like have mutual feelings about. Anything that you have common ground with a person, this is what you can talk about for your initial meeting. And it's so simple. When you're at a networking event or a house party or whatever it is, how do you know so-and-so the host? How did you find out about this event? You're both there. How did you come to both be there? And it's so simple because everybody has a backstory. Everybody has something to say about how they wound up somewhere or how they met people. It's usually not one word answers. What you want to steer away from is a yes or no and a blank stare after. Open-ended questions, questions with stories, questions that you can respond with stories about. So how did they meet this person? They'll tell you, and then you can then say how you met that person, even if they don't ask, which is pretty rude if they don't. But in case they don't ask, you already have some things to talk about. Past, present, or future. If you've been to these events before, what happened before? If you plan on going to something else later, how is the event going? Oh, how do you like that appetizer? How do you like that drink, whatever they're holding? Then you also have mutual likes of something. If you have a compliment to give out, you happen to like the way they styled their hair or you like what they're wearing. Side note, one time someone said, oh my God, I love your shirt. And the shirt was a long sleeved hoodie with nothing on it except Cheetos dust. I'm joking about the Cheetos dust, but it had nothing on it. It was the most basic thing ever. It wasn't even good material. So it was very inauthentic and I was like, yeah, I don't know why you would make that compliment. So make it authentic, make it actually something you do like. As mama said, you don't got nothing nice to say, don't say nothing at all. Let's move on to O. O in mogul is occupation. You're at a networking event, you wanna learn about people's businesses so they can learn about your businesses. You don't wanna just only talk about yourself, you wanna find out what do they do? What do they need? And then if you can be valuable to them and provide them with some information or ideas or anything that would help them, they'll turn around and help you later. Asking their profession, asking what they're working on, finding out how you can help them, what are they doing, what are they looking for, project, a challenge, referrals, anything of that sort. And that way you can go ahead and talk about your business and what you need help with, what you're trying to do. Don't go on and on about your business. Make it so that it's mutually beneficial between two people to talk. And what I love about this is that you can talk about the past, present, future when it comes to occupation as well. There were things, projects, people that you've worked with in the past. There's things going on right now and future ideas, future goals, which brings us to the next section. You've guessed it. The goal part of mo underscore goal will be talking about goal. You do wanna make sure you hit occupation first before going straight into what are you trying to achieve with your life. Finding out what is the next milestone, what they need to get there, what their dreams are, 
it's something you need to build a little bit of rapport on before diving into this, but even touching on it lightly, just saying what you're working on, whether it's just for this week, what you want to do, be consistent with whatever tasks that you have, or if it's like by the end of the year, you're shooting for whatever. This is all you need for your networking banter. You really don't need to get any deeper into this. You don't want to be looking for them to be your next customer. You don't want to hog the conversation. You don't want to be in interview mode where it's question after question. And in general, just avoid topics about politics, money, religion, anything that is trigger happy, negative stuff. Keep it in the positive. Ideally, what do you want the outcome to be? You want to go to every networking event, not just, oh, let me hang around the appetizers and just not get anything out of this, especially if this is a paid networking event. You want to know, all right, I'm coming out with two to five contacts of people that I can connect with, refer. Somehow we're going to help each other. And then you're going to follow up. I made a whole video about LinkedIn, following up with people there. It's really good if you get a business card or even if you get a digital business card to go on LinkedIn, request these people so you could put a name with a face and always stay in touch. Don't let the cards just sit in your pocketbook or sit by your computer forever and then you don't even follow up with these people. Then what was the point of going to the event in the first place? These tips are great and can also transition into your personal life if you want to start to include other things like family, friends, activities, anything that's really personal and not professional. Now let's hear from Chatty Capri. Being in a place, environment, situation where there's actually other people around to give my thoughts, ideas, perceptions, suggestions, thoughts, and basically judgments to is where I thrive. It's my brand actually. And if I could have a business where I could be the filler of those awkward silences and conversations, like, you know, a refer a friend or borrow a friend type program, I would absolutely love that. All right, Katri, you don't want to have too much to say. You want to try to incite and get information out of other people. So this is where the good questions come in, where you ask the question, but then you actually let the answer come through. I definitely don't need the conversation all about what I'm doing and thinking and just what's going on around me and just getting people to really just think about things that they wouldn't normally think about. In general, I just don't like that awkward silence where nothing is going on just because life is short. So why should the conversation or situation or anything be filled with just nothing happening when there should be things happening all the time? I would agree that Silence sometimes can be awkward, but when you connect with the right people, when you got the right positive vibes going on, you don't have to worry about that. Well, definitely. I think that it's good to talk and it's good to talk to people and get them thinking about ways that they can engage in the conversation rather than just kind of only talk about themselves. I don't enjoy a conversation where somebody's only talking about themselves. So I guess they wouldn't really enjoy when I'm only talking about myself. But um, if they're not saying anything, why should I just assume what they want to hear and why would I put myself in a position where they don't want to hear what I'm saying. This is a great tip, by the way. Always go to the person that is alone. That's a good way to ask them, hey, how do you know about this event? How do you know this person? Instead of trying to go infiltrate a group and ask the entire group that. Networking events are a great place to meet and connect with people, and I definitely can be available for hire if you need someone that's going to talk and if you feel awkward in those situations. Thanks, Chatty. Thanks, Work From Home Bodies. Make sure you like and subscribe if you have not already. Share this video with a friend, and stay tuned for next week. Watch this video next, and see you next time. Bye. They'll turn around.